So naturally, I'm recording this right after the end of the season. I'm just still uh, in agony over that collapse. And we let it, you know, we could, even if it would have been a back door, we let it get away. But the good news is we are looking to Champions League next year with our second place finish. Great season for us. Let's take a look at the end of season review right after the intro, guys. Well, the 2056-57 season will be one to be remembered in the Graf Shop lore, I am pretty sure. Taking a look, that Vladimir Petrov, Petrik we brought in as a uh, young goalkeeper. <clears throat> a lot of upside for him. Uh, he did have two appearances and could be challenging for our goalkeeper of the future, but definitely uh, a good young goalkeeper. Kiri, Kirill Kurdov, uh, $8.5 million. 31 starts, 6 goals. Uh, very good signing. Got a B-minus grade on him. Timo De Beer cost us $6 million. He only played in two matches, but he's young. He's only 19. A lot of upside. I think this is going to be a guy that we would see for years to come. Uh, Giovanni Profit, uh, we paid $1.4 for him. I'm not 27. He's a reserve. I mean, 27 reserve appearances. Four goals, four assists. I think that's a good return uh, for a reserve player. Uh, Jordi Mons Momsilovic, 1.3 million, 19 starts. He came in in the midseason window. Uh, very, very good second half of the season for us. Thomas Muller, 2.2 million. He is 25, but only 17 appearances, seven goals, though. Just not really ready to crack into that starting slot. But maybe next year, I mean, he's going to be hitting that prime 26 years old. So we'll have to look at that. Uh, Alexander Dimitrovic uh, came in. What was he, a free? Yeah, we didn't pay anything for him. Uh, and he started 34 games. Uh, Cho Young Hwan, 23,000. Uh, we sent him out on loan, but very good young signing. Uh, let's see, who else is there? Zlatko Javic, 600,000 from Bronby. Five goals, nine assists, and he had 36 appearances this year. I think that was a huge signing for us for quality depth. Martin Vandehorst from Ajax, 1.7, 13 starts, four goals, two assists. Hopefully with a year under his belt, we'll see an increase in his ratings and pr production there. Ahmet Ozdemir came in on loan from Union Berlin. And the rest of these guys were all youngsters that we will probably be hearing about down the road. Transfers out. Uh, Ferenc, 60000 Dirk, Dirk Van Beckel to Breda for $4.5 million. And he only appeared in 10 matches for them, so probably would have played more here. Uh, Tak Ye Hyung, uh, 230000 $6 million for Kalechi Okashi. Uh, 26 years old, 13 starts for his new club. Uh, Neck Meyer is on loan at at Ni at, uh, at Ajax, uh, so we'll get him back. We may still try to sell him, but he's still a very good wonder kid. So we'd like to maybe give him another crack next season. Uh, he actually played pretty well for Ajax. Uh, Militovic, goalkeeper, 48,000, sent him off. Why doesn't it show him? I just realized, I was thinking, that is not, he's at PSV. We sold him for 13 and a quarter million. Why is that not showing up? Is it later, maybe? Oh, well, we'll look. Because he, he is gone permanently, so he doesn't get a crack next year. Why is the game trying to confuse me? Barisic, 525,000, one of our uh, former starters. Adrian Delcroix, our former starting goalkeeper, goes to Rota for six hundred and fifty thousand. Three point six million for Sheard Nulshin, twenty-eight year old fullback. Two point six million for Mullenstein, a winger, twenty-four years old. Just guys that weren't going to crack our roster. And Jerry Bennett, we picked up a million dollars for him as well. 
We were only supposed to uh, reach the quarterfinals of the Dutch Cup. We ended up winning it. 94% home attendance in the Cup. Six goals for Anton Kernjik. They were really happy with that. Uh, taking a look there, we finished as the winner. And there's the results. A big 7-4 win over Breda, who actually, I believe, got promoted from uh, the Tweed division this year and came back up. Feyenoord, we beat 2-1. Uh, Walwick, we t seem to face them every year. And the big 3 nothing win over Ajax. That was really, uh, really good. Uh, we were expected a top-half finish. We ended up finishing second, so we did very, very well. Uh, we are going to be in Champions League along with PSV. FC20 uh, gets into the Euro Cup, and Willem 2 gets into Euro Cup 2. Great season for us. 94% home attendance, 22 goals. For Anton Kernjic. 8 0 win in the Dutch Cup over Excelsior was our biggest win. A 5 3 win over AZ was the match to remember. And the goal of the season came from Anton Resnick in the game winner against FC Utrecht. Uh, we do gain a little bit of national exposure from three to three and a half stars, so that's good. I'll expect to see some new stuff coming in. Again, this, I don't know why this doesn't update now. It comes in shortly thereafter, but uh, 8,977 jerseys sold. Vicario leading the way. Kernjik, Resnick, Momsilovic, and DeVos rounding out the top five. We lined up with Kaiser in goal, Dimitrovic, Gerver, and Kurdov on the back line. Servinka, Meyer, Gruntunk, and DeVos in the mid. Jasvich in the number 10. Resnick and Kernjik up top. That was our regular tactic. It did look different at the end of the year. Uh, we did have a pretty good rotation. As it turned out, uh, you can see most of them playing 30 matches or more. Meyer moving out in that mid-season window uh, was replaced by Mom Silovich there. Club awards, fans player of the season, uh, Kirill Kurdov. Uh, young player of the season, the same. Signing of the season, the same. Goal of the season was Eugene Resnick. Uh, Anton Kernjik was the top goal scorer with 28 goals. And Jan DeVos, 25-year-old winger, had 22 assists. Very, very good. And in the competitions, uh, Anton Kernjik was the top goal scorer in the league. And he won the European Golden Shoe. So good on him in the competitions. Uh, Kernjik with three goals in a match. Uh, set a new club record, and DeVos with 22 assists, also a new club record. Very, very good season. Second place in the Arita VC, winning the Dutch Cup. Got to be happy with that. Our best 11, Vicario is inducted, and he cracks the starting 11 of our best 11 of all time. For the club vision, work within the payroll budget, top half finish next season reach the Champions League playoffs. Wow. Okay. So we have to, to do that. I haven't been in Champions League in a while, guys. So Champions League, I believe you go through the group stage, and then that's the playoffs is after the group stage. So we've got to advance through our group. That's not going to be the easiest thing. That's a pretty high expectation. And they want us to continue with top half finishes. I'd like to appeal that, but We'll accept it. All right, let's take a look at the team report real quick. I'll be getting into the transfer window. Let's go ahead and filter the three stars, counting the B team, and we'll hide expiring contracts, right? So we've got Kaiser in the goal, Kurdov, Gerver, and Kaisela and Dimitrovich on the back line. Uh, Momsilovic and Jazvich in the middle, DeVos on the right wing, Resnick and Jazvich in that number 10, and Resnick and Kernjik up top. So if we drop that down to two stars, Kaiser, Petrich is in there, Nikki O'Malley's in there. So we've got some good, and O'Malley's, I think, a five star potential, four star now. And Petrich is a four and a half star. So. Definitely have some ability there. Kaiser's still doing well. Kurdov, Gerver, Kaisela, that brings in Fritz, Grizel, and a, a bunch of other players. Uh, Grizel, Young Juan, De Beers in that mix. 
I think maybe we keep uh, we keep Young Juan here next season for depth and try to move De Beer out for some playing time. Uh, we'll see how he develops, how the development goes. And I think we're going to try to move Ladinio Marcellia. I like him, but I just don't think he's ever going to crack. Uh, that brings Cervinka in on the left, Bazic on the left, Profits there. Nobody really great. Momsilovic gets into the group here. Maybe I did see him. Grutunk, Czech, Vizic in the mix. Over on the right, uh, Aaron, Jazvich, Telemans. I think we try to move Telemans this year. Uh, you know, it's it's really sad. You know, you get your heart set on some of these young players and, you know, they just don't pan out or they don't develop enough or whatever. Still a lot of upside, though, you know, so I don't know. Resnick, Javic, Czech, Vandehorst up in that middle. Uh, Resnick, Kernjik, Vicario, Muller. I'd like to see Muller take a step up, and I'd like to maybe see Resnick moving back to that number 10. Uh, Jazvik maybe moving into that middle, and Grutuk moving to the bench, possibly. I don't know that we have any glaring holes for next season. And if we base this off of potential, I mean, Petrich is there, Kaiser's there. Yeah, let's do just three-star. So we've got three really solid potential goalkeepers. Kurdov, Gerver, Grizel's a four-and-a-half star. De Beer's up there. So we've got a lot of guys there. Ribicic has a lot of upside, but he's all, he's 18. I mean, he... I don't know. He, he's got the pace. Maybe maybe he forces his way in. Uh, but there's Cervinka still at four-star. Profit at four-star. Momsilovic, Grutung, Vizic, uh, Vandehorst, Bergsma. We got a plethora of midfielders. Uh, Kernjik, Resnick, DeVos. Possibly, I mean, I love DeVos. He's, he's young. He's only 25. He had the 22 assists this year. I think he's got to be good enough to be our starter, especially with Kernzik and Resnick vying for some of these top positions. Uh, Ishan Babel is the young guy that just came through our youth system. Uh, so he's got some potential. And he's already got really great finishing, and he's seen some big improvements. If he's looking at two and a half star moving into the offseason, current ability, I'm going to be hard-pressed not to give him a look. Although it may be better served to send him out to a little bit lower league and uh, have him uh, get a lot of game time. Babel, definitely our striker of the future. Kernjik's still there. Profit, I don't like Profit's finishing, so I don't really count him in that, in that striker role. Resnick, Bazic, same thing. I could probably use another good striker. But we're going to end up having to move a couple of guys, I think. So that's what I'm going to be looking at. Uh, so let me get into the transfer window, and we'll come back uh, in a, in two months, July the 1st of July. Uh, that's when contracts expire, and uh, we'll see what the club looks like there, and we'll see who's left and who's come in at that point. Uh, we do have budget news. Let me see if that comes up real quick. Resnick gets a nice goal bonus, and there's our budget. $2.14 million on the payroll and a $16 million transfer. So that gives us about eight dollars $900,000 in wages. But remember, we were losing money, so do we want to go up a little bit? I mean, if we improve ourselves, sure, but not just for depth or not, you know. I don't think we're at the point we can just sign a lot of young players and carry wages. We're losing too much money for that. So we may sell some younger players. If they're not in the immediate, you know, two or three year plan, maybe I have to get rid of them if we can get some good deals. But there's our budget and the information for next season. Let me get moving on transfers. We'll see you guys July 1st in just a minute for you and uh, see if we make any moves. Just a quick interlude here before transfers get rolling. I wanted to look at the uh, end of season finishes here. Uh, Man City beat Arsenal by four points for the to win the Premier League. Uh, you can see Burnley making it into Europe there. Stoke, Middlesbrough, and West Brom getting relegated down. If we take a look at the 
Premier League at the championship. You've got Tranmere and Leeds gaining automatic promotion, and it's Leicester and Sheffield Wednesday playing for the right to go up as the third team. Uh, Barcelona beats Real Madrid by eight points, and Getafe gets up there into Euro Cup qualifying. There's your top finishers in the Spanish First Division. And going down are Lugo, Espanol, and Pomferrada. If there's ever anything you guys want to see in particular, throw it out in the comments. We'll take a look at it. Uh, let's see. There's uh, Serie A at Atlanta. Seven-point win over Parma. Verona, Inter. Uh, let's see. Empoli, Torino. Udinese. Mid-table, Spal. Lazio got relegated. Oh, you know what? Let's go check out... Um, I think I had mentioned it before. There's Milan. Oh, there, there they are. So uh, Juventus did win the second division, Serie B. Uh, they're going back up uh, to Serie A. But they've, uh, they've been a, an odd one. I don't have league history. They're not a playable league. But they were one in competitions. So let's see. This is Serie, Serie B. Let's go back up to Serie A. So, of course, when we started, they were the dominant Serie A side. And then we went through 30 years. They were, they were here, second position, third position. Uh, they pulled a couple of wins in that run. They became dominant again with a big run in the late 30s. But then at that point, they fall off the face of the earth. Uh, I see a third and a second up here. So I think they've they've been doing, you know, they've been yo-yoing here a little bit, going back down to Serie B. That was last year. So I don't know how far they may have fallen. I don't think they fell to third division, but I had noticed that they were in second division and had evidently been in and out. So, you know, they're uh, they're a fringe team right now for Serie A. That was really odd. All right, well, let's get back to uh, transfer business. Go spend some money. Well, who says you can't come home again? You remember the guy that scored a hat trick against us in like the final 15 minutes of the Bresda match last year? We've signed him. So yeah, we made a $9.5 million offer to Bretta for him. He is coming home. Now, this is the cool part. Out of the nine and a half million, we get one hundred and twenty thousand kickback because of the forty percent sell-on clause. Bonus. So, <laughs> so Ronnie Evers will be a new striker for us in the upcoming season. Uh, he can play that advanced forward role very well, so he will be slotting in up top. I have also gone in to Vicario and changed him from a star player to a squad player. And he hasn't lost his mind yet. Knock on wood. I'd like him to stick around and be depth for as if nothing else. But he still, you know, he may want to leave to continue playing and starting. We'll see uh, how that's going to transpire. We've also sold Leandro Martina. Just, uh, you know, never could find a place for him. Never was uh, developing fast enough. Uh, we do get a good grade there, a B grade for Ronnie Ebers coming in. And, nine and a, $36 million on transfer fees is a new record, breaking the previous record of $26.5 million. So, that's good. And the $9.5 million, 8 million euros, uh, is a new record purchase, breaking the $8.5 million, 7.25 million euros that we paid Crimin for Eugene Resnick a while back. We are being rated uh, for our staff, so that's interesting. And it looks like we're getting some bids in for Aaron. I'll have to look at those. I don't know if he's not transfer listed, and they're not even offering value, so that's probably not going to happen. I have, oh, I do have him transfer listed 3.7. Uh, so we'll negotiate those. Let me take care of all that off camera, and we'll be back with any more news. All right, this is a little update. So we were hit with a tax bill. 
Uh, there are our updated information. Top five jersey sellers. No big changes there. New scouting budget, 571000 We still can't afford the world. So we're going to go Europe and like it. <laughs> we're still burning money there, but that's okay. We still have about a month to go till the main end of main part of the transfer window. Uh, we have we've only signed the one player. Ah, oh, watching the streamer showdown. Uh, now I know why I don't watch Doctor Benji. Uh, <laughs> and Kevy five time having some issues in his early matches. Uh, good to see him beat Zeeland though. Um, anyway, uh, we've got two new players coming in. Zoltan Nagy, 20-year-old midfielder. Uh, he comes in on an end of contract free. We got a B minus grade on him. Taking a look, he's Hungarian, 33 caps for the U21 squad, two and a half star current, four star potential midfielder. Uh, he can play a lot of positions out there, pretty well rounded. So glad to get him. Uh, again, got him on a end of contract. And Guillaume Fournier, a 26 year old winger, uh, three star current. Uh, he comes in on an end of contract as well. Not spending any money yet. Only three star. He's maxed out. But he can play on the left side, and he gives us a little more depth over there. And right now, maybe a little more upside on Cervinka. Although Cervinka and Profit still have uh, the edge for potential, but maybe an upgrade this year uh, with us going into Champions League. Grutuk is only 20. I'm not looking to get rid of him anytime soon jumping into the transfers just to see what we've been doing uh so we do move out uh leandro martina to go ahead for just under a million dollars aaron goes to den Haag for 3.3 million and david weiss uh one of our young goalkeepers six hundred and seventy five thousand to amstetten and then uh, you've seen the two guys that we just brought in in addition to our new uh key striker Ronnie Evers, he'll be number two up top, but I think he gives us two really good strike options. Uh, we have put Vicario on the transfer list. As expected, he reacted very badly, and then, even worse, we didn't get any offers for him. So he's out, and I put unspecified, so they could have offered anything. Doesn't mean I would have taken it, but I was just trying to gauge interest. Yeah. That did not go well. We are still scouting away. We are still working towards that start of season, which is here in a couple of weeks. We're getting ready to break for training camp. Uh, I am hopeful of still bringing in a couple of players. We have $11 million in the transfer budget, quite a bit of money in payroll. We could probably move some of that around. But again, I don't want to blow payroll completely out of the water. But if I can find some really quality players that will give us an improvement anywhere, I will likely jump all over it. I'm looking really hard for a center back because Gerver still wants to leave with that $71 million release clause. And honestly, if he leaves right now, I've got nobody to step in for him. So I'll get to that. We'll cover final transfers and then get into the first match next episode. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. Um, not a whole lot of activity here, just the two, you know, the three signings. Let me know what you think about Ronnie Evers coming home. Out of those three guys, do you think any of them will play an impactful role for us in the near future, this season or next season? Hit that like button, subscribe, and don't forget daily football manager content here on the channel Monday through Saturday. Appreciate you. Take care. Bye.